I welcome you to Central Moments today. So good to have every one of you join in again. In our summer with the Psalms, we come today to Psalm chapter 30. And we're going to look at 30 through 33 sequentially over the next few days. Because when people are going through hard times, I've, I've often suggested that especially in devastating times, the times of deep grief, times of loss, times of deep failure, I've suggested that people meditate on and pray through Psalm 30 through Psalm 33. We're going to see that it covers all the bases and brings us to a place of recovery and strength in the Lord. So verse 1, I will exalt you, Lord. This is Psalm 30. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. This is David writing about past victories in his life. And he actually writes Psalm 30 to be used as a dedication psalm when the temple would be built. His son Solomon would later build the temple, but he laid the preparation. And he's saying when the temple, that place of God's presence comes, I want to celebrate the fact that, that the Lord has lifted me out of the depths. And, and, and he just unpacks it a little more as the verses go on. Verse 3, You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. And I'm sure he thought about running from King Saul. I'm sure he thought about hiding in caves. I'm sure he thought about all those battles with the Philistines. And he said, You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. We would maybe take the word anger out and say the Lord's discipline lasts for just a moment. But his favor lasts a lifetime. That's his main desire for you. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. And sometimes when you're just going through a very difficult time, although David is already through this time and come to the other side, we, we get to now just latch on to this. And I know the night seems very, very long. I, I know that sometimes our trials seem like they're never going to end. But, but we latch on to this. You know, weeping may last for a night, but, but joy comes in the morning. The dawn is going to come. And when we're just at the depth of despair and loss and grief, we hold on to this. And we say, Lord, thank you. This is not the end of the story. Weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. When I felt secure, the next verse, he said, I, I, I said, I'll never be shaken. And Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. I mean, when everything was going well and when I was walking in the favor of the Lord, um, you know what? I just felt pretty confident and pretty good. The problem is if we, all we have is God's blessing, it can keep us shallow. But he says, when you hid your face, I was dismayed. And, and, and it's these times that we begin to encounter a God who may not answer the question, why am I dismayed? Why did you let these things happen in my life? but it allows God to reintroduce himself to us in new ways. So verse 11, so here's the end of the story. Lord, you did turn my wailing into dancing, and you removed my sackcloth, and you clothed me with joy. I know you may not feel that way right now if you're in the middle of the night, those long night hours of deep despair or grief, but I want to tell you, um, your wailing is going to turn to dancing when God's done. And your sackcloth, which is rubs against you and grates against you, is going to be replaced with the garments of joy. Weeping may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And all of this is that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. So will you pray with me? Lord, we do praise you. We do thank you. It, it, it's hard to see the other side of the night hours when uh, we're embedded in them and feel trapped there. But I just pray for every person right now that may be suffering deep grief, grief loss. Lord, I know these things have to work through them, but they are times when you reintroduce yourself to us and our hearts long for you. And Lord, we just hold on to hope that, that the dawn is coming, that the night is going to end and that uh, weeping may last for this night, but joy comes in the morning. Thank you for this. Thank you, you're gonna take off the sackcloth we feel, and you're gonna give us garments of joy again. We love you, and we praise you in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>